Good morning. God bless you. Hello, this is Wiley Drake, and let me say simply that we are live on the air with you right now from the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C.'s telephonic and radio prayer meeting uh, coming from Washington, D.C. We're actually on location in Santa Ana, California today, and uh, we're broadcasting to you live, and we welcome you to the show. Uh, would you like to identify yourself? This is Bill Keller, right, Wiley? Well, Bill Keller, God bless you. Uh, Bill, for calling, and thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you have heard me talk about this man many, many times, because as you know, it is my privilege to serve as the chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., and I've been doing that since the year 2000. So obviously, I believe in prayer, and I talk about other people who are on the same page and probably at the top of the page of all the prayer warriors around our nation is a gentleman by the name of Bill Keller. Bill Keller is live on the air with us right now. Bill, would you do this favor for me? We have your name. It's Bill Keller. Tell us a little bit about your organization, and then tell us what you and my scheduler talked about earlier. Sure. Uh, you know, I've been in the ministry about 22 years. Uh, I'm a old-time evangelist from the uh, throwback to the old days of Billy Sunday and those guys who don't have time for all the games and the hype and the nonsense. Uh, I, you know, I don't need to know it all. what I preach. I'm a preacher. I've been a pastor of a church for the last 26 years, uh, in addition to some other churches before that. But um, I practice what I preach, and I'm preaching to you that you ought to go to Bill's website and get his daily prayer meeting and uh, join that daily prayer meeting. And I practice what I preach because I get that. I share with you on this program every day uh, excerpts, if you will, from not only other ministries, but primarily from uh, this ministry and this gentleman called Bill Keller. Bill, if people would like to do what I've done, that is get on your contact list on a regular basis to get those prayer requests, how do they do that? Yeah, uh, all they've got to do is go to our website, www.liveprayer, one word, liveprayer.com. On the left menu bar on the website, it's a devotional sign up link. Uh, you click on that, put in your email address, and uh, follow us. created this uh, Islamic caliphate in Iraq and Syria. 
And I, as an evangelist, of course, want to see this man's soul saved because my Bible says that God's desire all come to repentance, but none be lost. Amen. So I encourage this man to renounce the lies of Islam and come to faith in Jesus. But I told him that, I told him that his heart was so hard that he didn't want to make that commitment. That I was, I wanted, I was challenging him to a Mount Carmel type showdown. I would come to Iraq, Syria, wherever he wants to do this. We will, we will take each take an unblemished animal. We will build an altar of wood. We will uh, cut the animal to pieces. And then he will have one hour, just like the prophets of Baal did on Mount Carmel, to call down on his God. And uh, if at the end of the hour his God is not answered by fire, I will call the Lord God Almighty. Uh, because I know he'll, call, he'll, he'll rain down fire on my offering and his. And uh, so it's, a, it, 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 it's kind of a First Kings chapter 18 Mount Carmel challenge I've issued. And in the form of the video message, it's going viral right now all over the world. And uh, people can go to my website, livethere.com, click on today's devotional, and uh, you can find the link to that YouTube video there. But uh, it's also uh, being picked up by tons of news services. It just hit the news this morning. It's already being picked up all over the world. Okay, Bill, and if that is available for us, if it's okay with you, I will simply cut and paste it and put it on my timeline on my Facebook, the Wiley sure. Jake Facebook. Sure, absolutely. Feel free to. No problem. Okay, well, I thank you for giving thank me permission. You, the, YouTube, the YouTube link to the video message that I, that, that I had sent to Al-Baghdadi yesterday, uh, that's going that, that to give them the devotional today. And uh, like I said, uh, news organizations, especially internationally, are starting to pick this up uh, uh, all over the place. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Wiley Drake, as you know, and we are broadcasting to you live on the Internet around the world. We also have our communications channel. Uh, because of what Bill was doing, uh, he led me through his inspiration uh, to open up what we call our, com our communication channel. Right now, as we're talking, we're on the communications channel as well as on Internet and radio internet, TV, and radio, we have that channel open, and you can call in on it. If you have a question to ask Bill, you have a prayer request, a praise report, simply pick up your phone and call 712-432-1690. When you call that number, it will ask you for an access code. Put in your access code, 399-430-POUND, and you will be on the communications channel with Mr. Bill Keller. And later, please go to his website, and that, of course, is very simple, Live Prayer, liveprayer.com, and check it out. And you can also go there to today's devotional, as I do every day, and as I'm going to do a little later when I'm back at my main computer, I will simply go to that uh, liveprayer.com and today's devotion and I'll pull up that uh, URL for his YouTube and I will t post that on my timeline on my Facebook and I'll also post it to all of my email recipients and so forth. Folks, if we're going to do this, we've got to work together. We've got to be together and we've got to get together to do what God wants us to do. We're in uh, the government offices of uh, our county, and I'm here uh, at the county board of supervisors meetings in a little while, about 20 minutes, I'll be taking this show live into the supervisors meeting because we are praying uh, for our supervisors by first and last name. And we have sent them a letter letting them know that. And I'm going to verbally today appear before the Board of Supervisors to let them know that as a member of the county that they supervise, uh, I will be praying for them by first and last name every day, as we do each of our senators. And the way you join us is on our communications channel. And I gave you that number, 712-432-1690, access code 399-430-POUND. That access channel is open every morning at 8 o'clock. 
It's also open at 12 noon, which is right now in Washington, D.C. It will also be open again tonight at 8 p.m., and we thank the Lord for that opportunity. Bill, thank you so much for being on with us today. I've got so far I can only hang on for about 10 or 12 minutes because I've been in the middle of production, but uh, I wanted to get on with you, I wanted to share this information, and, and uh, just uh, uh, if I could uh, real quickly pray a special blessing. Father, I thank you for my brother. Thank Father, you. I thank you for his heart for you. I thank you for his work for you. I lift him and his team up to you and just ask God for your continued favor and blessings in all they do. I pray right now for his audience, but God, I know there's many needs represented out there, but God, you're a God that's greater than our greatest needs. So I just pray right now in Jesus' name that you will meet the needs of these people today, whether it be financial or physical or, or, or some sort of a relationship issue or employment, whatever the need may be, God, show yourself strong. And we will thank you for it and praise you for it now. For it's in Jesus' name we ask these things. Thank you. Bill Keller, LivePrayer.com, ladies and gentlemen. Bill, have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard that bong at the end. That meant Mr. Keller went off the air. Our communications channel has a phone number and an access code. And you can reach us on that simply by dialing the number and putting in your access code. That's what Bill did, and he joined us. And uh, then when he went off, you heard that bong. That meant he was going off. <laughs> now, if you would like to call us, please do so right now. There's two ways to do it. You can call us on the, ac on the uh, communications channel with the access code, or if you would so desire, you can call me on my personal cell phone. My personal cell phone. All right, we've got another caller. Good morning, caller, and welcome to the live Wiley Drake Show from Washington, D.C. and around the world. How are you? Hello? Hello? Well, ma'am, this is Pastor Wiley, but right now we're on our live television and radio show around the world. If you'd like for the whole world to hear our conversation, go ahead. If not, call me back after the top of the hour. I'll be off the air then. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, hello, okay, that was a caller going off. Right now, do we have anyone else on the phone with us? Let me give you a little disclaimer. At 9 o'clock every morning, California time, I do a live one-hour show. At 5 o'clock tonight, I will do another live one-hour show. If you call me on my personal cell phone during those hours, those two hours, I will answer the phone, <clears throat> but I will be on the air. That lady called me on my cell phone, obviously wanting to talk to me personally. And I answered the phone. You notice that? And I answered the phone, but I very quickly said to her, you're live on the air. And she wanted to talk to me, and uh, I said, as you heard, uh, when we're on the air, we still answer our phones. We're very different than any other radio or television show that I know of. If uh, you call the Rush Limbaugh show, if you call Sean Hannity show, if you call Beck's show, if you call anybody else's radio or television show, you're going to get a secretary, an administrative assistant, a scheduler, a programmer, a producer, somebody else. You won't get any one of those gentlemen. But I'm not as important as uh, Sean Hannity, nor am I as egotistical or as important as Rush Limbaugh. So I give you my personal phone number. My personal cell phone number reaches me no matter when or where. In fact, the matter is, when I finish the first half hour of this program, I'm going into the supervisor's meeting, and I will still be live on the line, but if you call me, I will answer my phone, slip out of the chamber, and talk to you by telephone 
if you would so desire. Now, please give me a call. Please let me know uh, how I can help you. But uh, we're going to be sharing, and I'll share with you right now exactly what I'm going to share. I'm going to say, starting June 24th, I begin to pray for each supervisor by first and last name at 9 a.m. prior to your meeting here. Since I've been in District 4 for over 25 years, my prayer began with my supervisor, Board Chairman Sean Nelson. I will hold this prayer meeting on our communications channel, which is 712-432-1690, with an access code of 399-430-POUND. And under the authority of God's Word, the Bible says, I exhort therefore, first of all, all supplications, prayers, and intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, especially the Board of Supervisors, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. And it's signed by myself, Dr. Wiley Drake, Chairman of, and Founder of the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., and the First Southern Baptist Church of Buena Park is my home church where I pastor. And so we will be praying every day for Sean Nelson, Patricia Bates, Janet Nguyen, John Morlock, and my longtime friend, Todd Spitzer. We want you to know, you, I want to give to each of these men and women a card with the phone number. Anyone is welcome to call in any time. This prayer channel is open every day at 8 a.m., at 12 noon, at 8 p.m., at 10 a.m. on Saturday, and at 7.30 a.m. on Sunday, seven days a week. Now, those times that I gave you are all East Coast times. You will have to figure that out for California or wherever you might reside. So that's what we're going to be sharing with them today in the chamber when they have public comments and if they allow me to speak that's what I will be sharing. I do want to ask you to pray with me today for Sean Nelson, Patricia Bates, Janet Wynn, John Morlock, and my dear friend Todd Spitzer. And I want to say to all I am of them I want to leave a card with them, and that phone number is there. And on that card, it will say the word pray, P-R-A-Y. And if you call <clears throat> that number at any of those hours that I gave you, you will be able to communicate uh, with each other, with God, and with all that the Lord is doing in and through us. On that card, it will say P-R-A-Y. And it gives you the phone number and the access code. And it also gives you my personal cell phone number. May God bless you. Now, <clears throat> yesterday, we were on location yesterday as well. We were on location yesterday <clears throat> at a Border Patrol station about 60 miles south of here, about 40 miles north of the Mexican border. This particular town... Murrieta Springs has been in the news lately because it was the attempt by the Homeland Security, Barry Satoro, a.k.a. B. Hussein Obama, it was their intent to bring busloads of these refugees, all ages, into different places in the nation. Well, Murrieta Springs found out that there was a great deal of problem with these people coming in. In fact, there are several Border Patrol agents, as we speak, that have been placed in quarantine because they caught some very serious diseases from some of these refugees because they come from countries that still are fighting polio, that still are fighting uh, a great deal scabies. They're also still fighting uh, emphysema. They're still fighting uh, a lot of uh, tuberculosis and so forth, many of those things we don't have anymore because through medical science we were able to beat them. But that does two things. Number one, good news, bad news. Good news is 
Uh, we don't have tuberculosis anymore. Uh, bad news is, if someone from another country brings in the tuberculosis disease, we are not immune to it because we don't have it anymore. If they bring in scabies, scabies is very, very contagious. It's almost unheard of in America, except now at folk that are coming from other countries. And there's other things that they're bringing as well that we have pretty much done away with in, in America. Uh, but that's why we're not against uh, Mexicans, we're not against Guatemalans, we're not against anybody. We are a nation of immigrants. But ladies and gentlemen, this is a nation of legal, capital L, legal immigrants, not illegal. And uh, if they're legal, they have to be screened. And if they come in legally, they will be able to deal with scabies and tuberculosis and these other diseases that these folk can bring in. And they will not be allowed to come in if they have those diseases until they're cleared from those diseases. That's the only common sense and protection for my children, my grandchildren, and all of those here in America. By the way, in reference to children and grandchildren and family, I want to say a happy, happy birthday to my scheduler. Now, you think I'm old. I'm 70 years old, and I still do the show. But my scheduler, who does a great job in scheduling people, today is his birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Happy birthday to you. Robert Bosworth, better known as The Boz. Bob Bosworth is my scheduler. If you'd like to be on this program like Bill Keller came on, all you've got to do is talk to Bob. Bob will schedule you to come on the program, just as he did Bill Keller and LivePrayer.com. We have other folks that come on here, and Brother Bob helps me. Even at 84 years of age, he is still very uh, active and very uh, involved in this ministry of following the Scripture. You know what the Bible says? The Bible says, let the redeemed. Now, who are the redeemed? Well, ladies and gentlemen, not because I'm a pastor, not because I'm the chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference, not because I'm a co-founder of the presidential prayer team, not because I was vice presidential candidate with Alan Keyes in 2008, not because of anything other than I am an ambassador for the kingdom of Almighty God. And it is my duty to pray with you and to pray for you. And so, uh, we thank you for watching the show today, and we would encourage you, if you have a book, if you have a product, you have anything that is biblically based, something that will help folk grow in their relationship with God, please, please let us know, and we'll be more than happy. Call my scheduler, Bob Bosworth, at 714-699-8657. 714-699-8657. And he is very apt to point out to you from time to time, he still has what he calls a California exchange. That 714 is an area code, and that is his phone number, was his phone number when he was here in California, and is still his area code, even though he's in a different area code down in Woodstock, Georgia. His pastor, pastors a great church there in Woodstock, and uh, we thank the Lord for Brother Johnny and his pastor. So call Brother Bob Bosworth at 714-699-8657. And Brother Bob Bosworth, on your birthday, we praise God for your birth, we praise God for your birthday, and we praise God we just celebrated our country's birthday back on July the 4th. And let me take a personal privilege point at this time and say to you that on July the 4th, on the birthday of the United States of America's independence from Britain, on that special day, God visited here in this part of the country, on the West Coast area, God's Holy Spirit visited my granddaughter, Brittany Alders. 
She is my granddaughter, and she was indeed pregnant. She's not pregnant anymore, <laughs> because on July the 4th, she delivered a eight pound, nine ounce, uh, bouncing baby boy, and I call him Grandpa's Firecracker. <laughs> Grandpa's Firecracker, because he was born on the 4th of July. His name is Mason Kendall Alders, and his mother's name is Brittany, and her, his daddy's name is Stephen Alders, and we praise God, we've already congratulated them, and today later, I'm going to be putting out pictures. You know how grandparents are, we're always putting out our pictures of our grandkids. Well, if you're on my email list, if you're on my Facebook, if you're on my radio program, whatever you're, you're, you are connected to me, you're going to be bombarded with a beautiful, beautiful great-grandchild of Wiley S. Drake. That's my grandson, Mason. I'm so proud that God has given me a great-grandson. I have nine other grandchildren. This was the tenth grandchild, but the tenth one uh, was indeed a great grandchild because my granddaughter, Brittany, gave birth to him along with her husband, Stephen. Uh, they produced my first great grandson. And so I, at 70 years young, am a great grandfather. And I received all of your emails and your accolades and your congratulations, and I say thank you, thank you, thank you. Most of them I try to respond to. I may have missed yours, and if I did, please forgive me, uh, because I am 70. <laughs> Sometimes I miss things. But anyway, you're listening right now, and you are connected right now. You're listening to The Wiley Drake Show. The Wiley Drake Show is on Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. And because of that, people can join us right now. And in just a few moments, when uh, we get to the uh, half hour, we're going to make our way down uh, with my assistant and cohort, my dear friend in Christ, James L. McCullough, a.k.a. known as the Hitchhiker. And many of you saw him yesterday. He was that security man. He was my helper sitting there in that chair on NBC, CBS, ABC, Channel 4, Channel 5, Channel 11, and even the CNN team got pictures of him. And uh, we thank the Lord for him being with us. You also saw a beautiful, beautiful daughter of his, Rebecca McCullough, uh, there with a yellow vest on like he had and a big sombrero hat in the sun. And if my face looks a little ruddy today, a little uh, more color than I normally have, it's because I enjoyed the sunshine in Murrieta Hot Springs, California yesterday. We were out there bright and early, about 8 o'clock, and we're out there in the sun all the way past lunch. And I didn't even buy the hitchhiker and Rebecca lunch. We took them back to the church quickly. Uh, but I want to say thank you to them for being with us today. We are uh, moving forward with several things. I want to remind you that on August the 4th, August the 4th, that week, I will be in Washington, D.C., I will be on duty in our headquarters there at the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. Now, if you would like to know more about me, know more about my co-chairman, by the way, the co-chairman of the Congressional Prayer Conference is indeed a very famous man himself. His name is Dr. Clyde Rivers. Dr. Clyde Rivers is not only an evangelical uh, Assembly of God pastor, but he is also the ambassador for the African country of Burundi. Now, on the week of August the 4th, uh, the president of Burundi, President Pierre, will be in Washington, D.C. I don't know if we'll be able to work it out, but I hope that I'll be able to shake hands with this man 
and to be able to greet him as my brother in Christ. You see, I found out through their ambassador, Clyde Rivers, who is now the co-chairman of our committee called the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., I found out through him that President Pierre was indeed a born-again Christian. In fact, if you go to Wikipedia, even Wikipedia will say he claims to be a born-again Christian. And that's on Wikipedia, folks, for the president of Burundi. One of the things that I liked about uh, President Pierre, a couple of things. Number one, he said, when I'm your president, we will not have all the Tutsis and Chichis and all the different tribes. We'll all be Burundians, a reconciliation of people from Burundi, a oneness of spirit for people of Burundi. The second thing I liked about him was he said, I will use the Holy Scripture, the Bible, to help me be a good president for the country of Burundi. I like that, and I'm looking forward, hopefully, to be able to meet him when he is here in our nation in Washington, D.C., in the capital. And uh, we thank the Lord for that. I'm going to make an attempt here uh, to see if... Uh, if we can get to uh, Dr. Rivers, I don't know if he's back in town or back home or not, but I'll tell you what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to add Dr. Rivers, hopefully, if I can. Uh, if we can call Dr. Rivers and get him on the line, we're going to try that and see if we can uh, patch him. belonging to seven. Later. Okay, Dr. Rivers' mailbox is full, obviously, and uh, we uh, are going to look forward here to see if we can uh, uh, indeed uh, see if there's somebody else maybe that's on the line with us here. We'll see where we can go from here. We may have bumped ourselves off. I believe we're still on the line on television and radio. We'll be back on Crusade Radio here in just a moment. Hi, Pastor. It's uh, Cheryl. Could you please call me? 714-248-3424. Thank you. All right. That was a call that we received just a little while ago. I'm going to go back out of that, and we're going to say called Telephonic Prayer, and we're going to try to get back on with Telephonic Prayer, and also back on with Call Telephonic Prayer. And that is the communications channel that you call, and this is what you'll hear when you call, and, uh... Welcome. This service is with the... You are here at 3, 9, 9, 4, 3. There is one other participant in this conference. Please announce yourself. And we're going to do our best now to hook back up with Crusade Radio. I think we can do that. And uh, I think I dialed, I think I hit a wrong button and bumped Crusade off. But we are still on with you here on the Whitey Drake Show on Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. television and radio network. And we're going to see if we can get through to uh, Crusade Radio again, because we won't, don't want to leave them out of the supervisor's meeting. And we're going to merge that call, and I believe we're merged now. We do have a telephonic prayer on, which is our communications channel. We also do... Uh, Hitchhiker, would you check the door there and see if they're in session yet? Right yeah, right there. Let's see if they're having their meeting yet. And if they're having their meeting, we're going to go join their meeting. Nobody is in there. Okay. 
Uh, go in there, go in that door and turn left right there. You should see some a, a rack there with papers. You can't get in? Oh, okay. Well, I thought the Board of Supervisors was meeting today. Maybe they're not. Yeah, check and see if they're meeting today. They're supposed to meet at 9.30. Maybe they cancel their meeting. I don't know. Nobody told me. <laughs> but that's all right. We've only got about uh, a little less than uh, 25 minutes, about 24 minutes left on this program. We'll just finish up from here, whether they're meeting or not. Brother Hitchhiker is with me, and he went to uh, verify and to check and to see uh, if indeed they are meeting today. And we do welcome you to uh, the Wiley Drake Show. By the way, if you'd like to call us, there's several ways to do it. Number one, you can reach us simply uh, by calling our conference call number, our communications channel. Our communications channel is... 712-432-1690. 712-432-1690. And we thank the Lord for that opportunity for you to be with us today. When you call that number, it will ask you for your identification and your access code. Please know you do not, I repeat, you do not have to identify yourself. We will not require that. That's simply a request. If you ignore that, nobody will be the worst for that. Nobody will barrage you or harass you. But when you call that number, 712-432-1690, it will ask you to identify yourself. Then it will ask you for your access code. Now, the access code you must have in order to join us, 399-430-POUND, 399-430-POUND is the access code, and we encourage you to do that. Now, at that point, at that point, you can also go... Next week on Tuesday. Next week on Tuesday, so they're not meeting today. Right. Okay, well, I didn't... Did, did they tell you why they're not meeting today? No, we didn't. Was it canceled or whatever? I thought it was every Tuesday. Is there somebody there you can check and find out? Tell them. Tell them you thought that they that we that they meet every Tuesday and did they cancel this one? And see what's going on if you can. If you can't, it's no big deal. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like to call us on my cell phone, my cell phone number is 714-865-8132. 714-865-8132. And we thank you so much for being a part of the Wiley Drake Show. I don't have music to play for you today because I'm away from my computer. But uh, we'll be back at 5 o'clock tonight. And uh, if in the meantime you would like to talk to me about being on the show, uh, after the top of the hour I'll be off the air and be available on my cell phone. I'm available right now. But as I said... Uh, call me after the show if you'd like. Or if you'd like to talk to my scheduler, a man by the name of Bob Bosworth is my scheduler. That means he talks to people about their books. He talks to them about papers they've written. He talks to them about ministry uh, meetings they're having, their church meetings, their singing, their special uh, things. If you'd like to bring your special event, whatever event it is, however it is, if it has a biblical base, ladies and gentlemen, we are an unapologetic Judeo-Christian organization, and we thank you uh, for listening to us. Now, let me just give you a quick rundown. My name is Wiley Drake, that's W-I-L-E-Y-D-R-A-K-E, Wiley Drake. I am 72 years of age, I was born and raised in Arkansas. Actually, I've been raised mostly in California. I was born uh, November the 23rd, 1943, and I lived in Arkansas until 1953. At that time, I began to travel around the country. I became what was referred to in those days as a carny. I began to travel around the country with a local carnival and a rodeo at the encouragement of my father. Now, Brother Hitchhiker, tell us, let me put you on the air. What happened? You went over there and checked with them about the Board of Supervisors meeting. What did they tell you? 
Uh, usually they meet every Tuesday, mm -hmm. like they're supposed to, but because of the holiday and travel, they had to cancel the meeting this week. Okay, all right. So the meeting has been canceled. Yes, sir. But our prayer meeting has not been canceled. Thank you, Brother Hitchhiker. In fact, the matter is, I want to involve the Hitchhiker. I'm going to put him to work today. I want him to take this piece of paper, and there are uh, five names on it that we're going to pray for. And I want to ask the Hitchhiker. He helps us all the time with... Uh, judges, with congressmen to pray for them, first and last name. And I want to ask you, if you would, Hitchhiker, just to go down this list. There's four there and one on the other page. Would you give us the names of those Board of Supervisors from the County of Orange, please? Yes, sir. Well, Board of Supervisors, we have uh, Sean Nelson, who's a supervisor. And by the way, let me interrupt you there. Sean Nelson is my supervisor. Hang on just a minute. We have a caller on the line. Let's see. If we'll get back to this in just a moment. Hello, caller. Are you there? Well, this is your uh, scheduler, Bob, from uh, Woodstock, Georgia. You invited the people to call in, so I thought I'd call in. Okay, well, Bob, hang on just a minute. They're not having the meeting today there at the uh, council. No, they canceled it because of the holiday, and I'm glad they uh, did, but nobody told me. But before we go on with you, I had the hitchhiker lined up, and I'm going to put him on camera, and he's going to list by first and last name each of our board of supervisors so you and I and he and the rest of our audience on the communications channel of 712 can pray for them. So, Hitchhiker, give us those names, five names, first and last name, please. Okay, the first one is Sean Nelson, Supervisor of the 4th District, Patricia C. Bates, Vice Chairman of the 5th District, Janet Nagayan, Supervisor of the 1st District, John M.W. Morlock, Supervisor of the 2nd District, and Todd Spitzer, Supervisor of the 3rd District. All right. Thank you, Brother Hitchhiker. And uh, I want to go back and, uh, and say that uh, uh, the one lady that uh, the Hitchhiker stumbled over, and uh, that's only to be understood because he's an American. He does not understand uh, Vietnamese. And uh, Miss Janet, her last name is N-G-U-Y-E-N, -E and it's my understanding, I mispronounced it a long time, but uh, I understand her last name is Wynn, just like W-I-N, but it's spelled N-G-U-Y-E-N, -E Wynn, and she is Vietnamese, she's a supervisor in the first district, and there were two other names on there that were highlighted in my memory, number one, board chairman, the head of the board, Sean Nelson, who is the board chairman as well as the supervisor for the 4th District. And I have been in the 4th District now for 26 years. I've had other supervisors, and now Sean is my supervisor. And uh, what we were going to say to them today, we'll say next Tuesday, and that is that we're going to pray for these Board of Supervisors before their meeting. Their meeting is at 9.30 California time, and on Tuesdays, as the Lord allows me the privilege, I'm going to visit here, as I am right now. Unbeknownst to me, they cancel the meeting, uh, but that's okay. We didn't cancel the prayer meeting. The hitchhiker came here with me, and the hitchhiker has helped us in this prayer meeting. And we have also been talking about uh, a very special day on July the 4th, the birthday of our nation, and the birthday of Wiley Drake's first great-grandson. And then just a few days past that special day, just four days past that special birthday, is another special birthday today by none other than my scheduler, 84 years young, Robert Bosworth, known as the Boz, and the Boz works with me and works on our program. If you'd like to schedule any kind of event, if you'd like to come on the Wiley Drake Show and talk about it, you could call me on my cell phone and I'll take it. However, 
because we are getting bigger and bigger and thousands upon thousands of listeners. I've had to uh, request help. And Brother Bob Bosworth used to be my minister of music and worship leading in California. Then he moved back to Woodstock, Georgia. And while he's been back there, though, he serves as my scheduler. So if you would like to meet by telephone my scheduler, and if you'd like to talk to him about scheduling your event, a book you've written, a ministry you have, whatever you'd like to do, you call Bob and say, Bob, my name is, and give him information, and he will schedule you on the Wiley Drake Show. Now, Mr. Scheduler, 84 years young, please give, <laughs> please give on this, your birthday, uh, your telephone number uh, to our listening audience. So if they want to call the scheduler and get on the program, and they can call up and say, book me, Bob. Uh, tell them how to get in touch with you, would you please? Well, my number is uh, California DJ 714 Well, my That was the hitchhiker. I was. I've seen his face on your show, I'm sure, before, but I did not realize what a hunk of a man he is. Well, he is Bob, as you well know, uh, we are a low budget. Uh, I do not get paid. No one on the show gets paid for doing their duty by money or by me or by the show, we all get paid in our heavenly account by our Lord and Savior Amen. Jesus Christ. And uh, But one of the things that I've done over the years, we have given you a title that's called Scheduler. So you can tell people you're the scheduler for the famous or infamous, whichever they choose, Wiley Drake Show. And we give other titles to people as they work with us and for us. I've told people we have to give you a big title because we don't have any money to give you. And so we have, uh, we have worked with, uh, uh, we have indeed worked with the hitchhiker. And uh, he is indeed not only our scheduler, but uh, he is indeed our reporter at large. And I use that term very carefully. He is a large man. Amen? Well, somehow I bumped us off. Hang on. Call Telephonic Prayer. Calling Telephonic Prayer. Hello, Bob. Are you there? Looks like we may have lost Bob. Let me see if I can get the Crusade Radio back up. We're going to add Crusade and get them back up, hopefully. Is that you, Bob? Hello, Mr. Bob, are you there? Yes, I lost you for a moment, so I'm back on the line. Okay, thank you. I don't know what happened there. We lost uh, Crusade Radio, and we also lost the communications channel. But ladies and gentlemen, the communication channel is open again. We did not lose TV signal. We were still on the air, but we did lose Bob's audio signal because he came in on the communications channel. And uh, Brother Bob, as I mentioned, uh, we call the hitchhiker uh, our reporter at large because he is a hitchhiker and he does travel and at large, see I'm the chaplain at large for 
the uh, Operation American Spring, and by that they mean I am the chaplain at large, that is, all over. We do have another chaplain called Alan Coffey, and he's sort of centralized. I'm the reporter at large uh, across the country, and the chaplain at large, and when the hitchhiker came on board, I said, we're going to give him a title called the uh, Correspondent at Large for the Wiley Drake Show. When we say and when we say correspondent at large for the hitchhiker, that has a twofold meaning. He has a large heart because he loves Jesus. He has a large heart because he loves his wife and seven children. He has a large heart because he puts up with his pastor, Wiley Drake, but he also has a large heart for Jesus. And by the way, he is indeed, as you saw in the picture. In fact, we're going to show you him one more time. He is indeed a man of large stature. All right, Brother Bob, one of the things that you did so well for us uh, when you were at our church and since you've been at our church is to be our inspirational singer. And because we are patriot-oriented, because we do uh, represent, I represent the Operation American Spring, and because I represent the Congressional Prayer Conference, and because I represent Oath Keepers, and because I represent a lot of patriotic groups, we like to have patriotic music. So I wonder if Mr. Bosworth, at 84 years of age, might be able to pull down from his repertoire a patriotic song. And I believe, as I talked with Dr. James David Manning, I believe in that 100%, but I also believe that we need to have, uh, in addition to that, a patriotic uh, brotherhood. And uh, so I, I want to invite you, as well as all of our listeners, to do two things. Remember, we have a, we have a wily saying here that's called, boots on the ground or prayer in the air. And on August the 4th, the week of August the 4th, God has called me to make another trip to Washington, D.C. I'm going to be flying in on Sunday night. I'll be there Monday the 4th. Be there all week long. And we're going there, number one, the reason we chose that week is because that week, a man who has preached and taught and exampled brotherhood 
in an African country called Burundi is their president, President Pierre. And my co-chairman, Dr. Clyde Rivers, is their ambassador from Burundi. And the new president, when he came on board, said, we're not going to have all of this tribal stuff. We're going to have all Burundians. We're going to all be one big brotherhood. So on August the 4th, uh, President Pierre from Burundi will be in Washington. Pastor Wiley Drake will be there. Dr. Clyde Rivers will be there. Uh, I'm hoping Dr. James David Manning can be there, but we're going to be there all week long to pray the call to fall for brotherhood around the nation and around the world. We're going to be going into the U.S. House of Representatives. We'll be going into the Supreme Court. We'll be going into offices of missionaries that work on the hill there, the organization called Faith in Action. We only go once a month or once every once in a while, but we do have a mission group there on the hill. Uh, Reverend Rob Shank and his dear twin brother, Paul Shank, and their ladies there that work in the office, Peggy and Patty, and, and uh, all those other good folks there. And we're going to be praying with them and for them while we're there. We're also going to be going to the uh, Family Research Council to pray in their chapel there during that week of the 4th. We're also on Tuesday night going to do a tour of Washington, D.C., a prayer tour with a National Prayer Embassy van. Uh, Brother Jeff Wright's been doing that for 30 years. And on that Tuesday night, he's going to give us a tour of the Capitol. And I would encourage all of you to come. And if you can't come, it's boots on the ground, prayer in the air. If you can be there, you can get in the van with us. It's a 15-passenger van, so that means first come, first serve. Brother Jeff's the driver. There will be 14 other seats available, and we encourage you to come. If you cannot come, you can be prayer in the air because we will be broadcasting live from that van the Wiley Drake Show and the National Prayer Embassy Tour, which is what we do every Sunday morning, but we'll be doing a special one on Tuesday night and I believe that's the 5th uh, of uh, August, but that week of the 4th. And uh, I would encourage anyone to begin to pray about and, and prepare to make a trip to Washington, D.C. for August the 4th. We're going to be there all week long. I'm not coming home till Saturday, and I'm going to be there all week. We're going to be praying all over the hill. We're going to have meals sometimes at the Supreme Court cafeteria. We'll also have meals at the House of Representatives cafeteria. We'll be going into the chapel at the United States House of Representatives. We'll be praying on the steps of the United States Senate. We'll also have prayer from the Speaker's Balcony there in D.C. We're going to be praying all over D.C. I will have the privilege as a Vietnam War veteran to go to the Vietnam Wall and have special prayer for my brothers and sisters who gave their life and whose names are inscribed on that wall. We will have a special Vietnam War prayer. We will also have a special prayer at the World War II Memorial, and we're hoping that by August they will have the inscription for the D-Day prayer. But whether it's up there or not, we do know it's been approved by the House and the Senate, and the President has signed it, and it will be going up there. We will read that prayer that was given by the president on the radio. We will read that prayer while we're there at the World War II Memorial. We'll also go to the Lincoln Memorial, and I'll pray on the very spot that Martin Luther King said, I'm looking forward to a day when everybody will be judged not by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. So we'll be praying there. We'll be praying all over Capitol Hill in various historically Christian significant places to pray. We will be praying. We'll pray at the White House. We'll pray at the Pentagon. And we will pray all over Capitol Hill while we're there that week. That week is going to be what I'm going to call a special call to fall for brotherhood around the world, and especially being led 
by the United States and being led especially by the United States Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. I hope you can join us, and I say that you to Brother Bob and to all of our listening audience. Any other word, Bob, you'd share before you go? Well, yes. Um, his President Roosevelt's prayer, I think, was uh, very, very significant. Most people do not realize that the Germans were experimenting with heavy water. And uh, God somehow eliminated their ability to uh, build an atomic bomb. Yes. The whole world would have been different today Amen. if they had been able to have that atomic bomb to begin with. And I think that uh, the nation bowing its knees and head in prayer through President Roosevelt's uh, I think uh, caused God to have mercy on his people here in America, that we might continue to try to evangelize not only our own country, but the world. Amen. And we'll do that, and we welcome you and invite you to come if you can be there. If not, ladies and gentlemen, remember, boots on the ground, prayer in the air. If you can't be boots on the ground in Washington, D.C., in our nation's capital, you can be prayer in the air. And by the way, we're going to be in Washington, D.C. D.C. no longer stands for the District of Columbia. Columbia was a false god. D.C. now has been designated by the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C. as Washington, D.C., i.e., District of Christ. We have designated that, and that's what we're going to use. And so the Congressional Prayer Conference of Washington, D.C., the District of Christ. Bob, it's time for us to go. God bless you. We'll see you back maybe at 5 o'clock. Well, have a great day. God bless. Bye-bye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to go. Remember, do justice. Love mercy and walk humbly with God. And I want to give a note of instruction to my producer there in the studio. Title today's show, Prayer for Unity. Prayer for Unity. God bless you and have a great day.